Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Martin. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm going to be walking around showing you some of the basics on your new fifth wheel. So I want to start outside here, start up by the propane tanks. One of the first things you want to make sure you do is turn on the propane tank. Righty tighty turns on the tank, lefty loosey will open up the tank. You notice on this green selector valve on top here, green means propane's actually flowing through the lines. If it turns red, that means the tanks are empty. This little selector here determines which tank you're drawing off of. So it's pointing to this line, so it's pull, pulling off this tank. So the next thing we want to do after that is we want to go over to our docking station, which that's going to be located over here on the side. We've got our auto leveling jack systems right here to power that on. We simply hit the power button and we can control the jacks going up and down, auto level with that. So real straightforward there, real simple operation. This is our docking center. This is where we hook up all our water. This is where our cable TV hookup is. Our, our hot and cold exterior shower, freeze guard, which is just a winterization system. Water heater bypass, of course, that's off because it's not cold temperatures now. City water connection, we bring white water drinking holes through that hole there connected to the city water connection. This is where we flush our tanks. And of course, these are the gate valves, the pool for our waste and gray. Low points, when those are horizontal in line, notice those will drain out. It'll drain any water that's actually in the tanks. Do keep the little ones away from the hot water heater and furnace exhaust here, as it does have a tendency to get hot. This line right here is your line for your ice maker, just so you know. It is a good idea to check your lug nuts on your tires after the first 250 miles as they can become loose. And you do wanna make sure that there's no potential problems there. Your exterior gray tank for back here, you have additional valves, which are located right there just to empty those. Then we have your 25 foot 50 amp power cord, which is attached back here. We do give you the 50 to 30 amp adapter and the 30 to 15 amp adapter as well. We saw the incredible storage back of this compartment with the slide tray. It's prepped and set up for a camera up there, which is wonderful. I'm gonna walk around the outside here. Of course, those are the auto level jacks there. Again, as a reminder, do make sure you check those lug nuts after the first 250 miles as they can become loose. We're gonna walk inside now show you some of the basics on this camper. Our breaker panel is located right down here with our fuses, breakers, fuses being 12 volt, breakers being 110. And everything's marked and indicated on this panel for you. Okay, central vacuum. The tools are typically located underneath your bed. We have motion sensor lights right there to turn on our overhead lights. That's those blue illuminated switches. This tells us the levels of our various tanks, our slide out buttons, which control our slide out. Battery heater, solar panel. This turn, turns on our overhead fan right there. Real, real simple. We want to turn on our air conditioner. Simple operation. We're gonna cycle through with this bottom button. Notice it goes to cool. We'll adjust the temperature down. You'll hear that cycle on in a second and we'll start to get cold air. Your controls with the refrigerator are in the upper right hand corner of the refrigerator. That is a travel lock. You do want to keep that in place when traveling down the road so the fridge doesn't open on you. Your keys for the kitchen fa around the kitchen faucet for your faucet for your camper with you, your stove. They do have sparking igniters. See how quickly they ignite? Turns right on for you. Just a conventional microwave, what we're all used to in a regular microwave. It operates no different than your household microwave. It is a standard 110 microwave. Walk up front here, amazing bathroom here. You do have ground fault plugs in this bathroom. One thing to keep in mind with the ground fault plugs is if you do trip those plugs, they are 110, there's a ground fault breaker on them that will reset for you. You do have an additional air conditioner up here that's controlled the exact same way the other one is. We'll again, just push through, cycle on our AC. We can control our fan by pushing it one more time and it goes to an auto function and then control the desired setting. If we wanna to go to furnace, again, from that other thermostat, we'll just simply push this again. That'll turn that on for us. We cycle through this. That of course shut off the air conditioner for the master bedroom. On the power boosted TV antenna that is located right here, um, 
That is your where you hook up your jacks for your TV if you want a TV in the master bedroom. That's where all that gets hooked up. That little green light at the base of the cabinet down here is a carbon dioxide detector. If that goes off, that is no different than a smoke alarm. You do want to step outside the camper, shut off all the tanks and appliances to make sure that nothing else will keep running for you. Um, one other important thing to note is generally the remotes are in one of the front drawers or cabinets up in the front fireplace. Real simple operation. There's a power button to the far right hand side. Push that power button and that will turn the fireplace on for you. If you want to adjust the temperature, they do have additional buttons there. So you can adjust it higher low setting. That turns it on. We can adjust higher low there. That adjusts our flame color. And then that'll shut it right off for us. Once again, very simple, real straightforward operation. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. We do appreciate your business. If you do have additional questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. You can always reach me on my cell phone at 231-740-6225. Thank you and have a great day.